what is up my people welcome back to the channel for another album review i'm your boy nasim the dream if you're new to the channel just go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content today i will be reviewing the brand new debut record from andre 3000 new blue sun atlanta rapper singer writer producer musician one of hip-hop's major icons in the game mr andre lauren benjamin has made his much anticipated return with this debut solo record a project desired by so many causing this immediate chain reaction once announced in his recent interview promoting the record with gq being as it is the last time we ever really seen the release of an outcast remember coming from 2006 and the last time we've seen them even even hit the stage together was 2014 this by no means is considered the reawakening of andre 3000 as we've seen him come through with numerous amount of times with numerous artists on many projects over the years but many had wondered throughout the years what would the result be if andre 3000 came out with his first solo record and well there's no way in hell anyone expected this and a lot of people including andre himself always expected some kind of creation to come out in the hip-hop game at least delivering a nuance to rap music but this ain't rap music nah this man made a whole hour and a half instrumental record and it's amazing the vision andre wanted to share with his craft with this somewhat new finding of flute playing as he personally felt like he was a very young wielder with the instrument which in context of the title of the record is completely connected and in andre's expression this record came to life not by plan but by gut feeling so much so that he quite literally added this notion in the explanation to the first track which are also followed with very direct and odd out of pocket notions with the title tracks following this but my experience was aesthetic just because of how comfortable he becomes using these different styles with this flute playing like with these awesome japanese flute styles that he uses even with some drums complementing these same styles and verses like with the track number two and the same track using gongs to use as transitional points creating tension and wider dynamic a little bit of drama and mystery dished into the mix creating this like ritualistic kind of drum sequence almost feel like we're summoning something but throughout the record i really do like how things start to shift in terms of the feels and the settings it's almost like we're changing climates since it is instrumental music i feel like your creativity and expression could really just run wild so my expression of this kind of felt like andre describing on how quickly life can go on as we quickly see the changing in seasons but in reality what feels like a blur is often a slow burn there's moments on the record that also include some well displayed immersion like with some arpeggios and synthesizers that really give a little bit more ethereal feels to it there's tools used to convey images of sounds to great bright ambience and atmospheres that resonated well with meditative properties it's especially moments like this where i feel like really creates the most lifelike soundscape of the voyage through the heavens the many heavens the deep thought of our vision of what heaven may seem like it's quiet beautiful peaceful wind elements gusting through the backgrounds and that are just wonderfully light and powerful i feel like a lot of people are gonna look at this record that are familiar with new age and ambient compositions that are gonna really base it off what came before this watering down their experience for this record and i think you're doing yourself a disservice he's making it crystal clear that this is the beginning of a new chapter in his music making life so it wouldn't make sense to expect so much from him early in this stage especially because of his history in hip-hop that has nothing to do with it in this interview with uq alone it's mostly about the expression through music not about giving what people feel like they deserve or they should get from andre or what andre should make it's just about his expression of what he's feeling in that moment i can only imagine how it would be if andre actually had the pleasure of collaborating with powerful acts such as alice coltrane herself philip glass stevie reich these are also direct inspirations that came for the record or even personal imaginations like if pharaoh sanders was still around what would happen if he would want to work with andre greg fought gustavo santolala or even and Sophie Birch. I just love that Andre had this idea in his head that he was going to create a rap record, but he did the right thing and he did what he needed to do for himself and make what was true to himself, true to his heart in that very moment of when he was writing. And I already know this probably plenty of disappointing responses from people, hip hop listeners, that are saying this is trash, we didn't want this. This motherfucker don't owe you shit, little baby cry.
as a little bitch that won't even know how to and grandma would be you little stupid bitch, even fucking and you a bitch. What highly enamored me with this objectively beautifully made record is that it wasn't made in fear or pressure or for acceptance. It was purely for self enjoyment. I think it's just so awesome to see Andre so enthralled by new age and ambient compositions. How could you not be happy about an artist that you truly love that likes more bigger ideas that something that you would never even think they would even enjoy. To see him make his own and come out with something this well made is just amazing and it's just so inspiring. And it don't need to sound better than the ones who make this sound regularly. It just needs to come from the heart. The result will always come out positive if you stay true to yourself and you do what is good for yourself. And that is what he did. And overall, I am just satisfied with what Andre, Carlos Nino, and the other writers did to help this record come to life. I'm going to give Andre 3000's New Blue Sun an 87%. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go on like, share, and comment down below of what you thought of this album. Do not forget to check the description for all my separate checklist ratings for the album, more videos, and also the links on my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Doses.